Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh everybody uh, Welcome once again to Amazed by the Quran A series in which I try to share with you what I find amazing about the Quran uh, Particularly nowadays in this series what I'm going to try to share with you are Aspects of the Arabic language of the Quran that are pretty technical Like you have to study a lot of grammar before you kind of get this stuff But I'm going to try to present it to you in a way that even if you know nothing about grammar It'll make sense to you inshallah Okay so I pray that Allah helps me do that now, the, in order to conduct this exercise, I'll give you kind of a little bit of an exercise to walk through with me. If you hear un at the end of a noun, like salam means peace, right? If, so if I say salamun, I put a un at the end, salamun. That actually means that it's a, a, a noun-based sentence. I know that sounds tricky, it'll, it'll become clear in a sec. And if I say salaman, so I didn't say un at the end, I said an at the end then that's a verb-based sentence. It implies that there's a verb before it. It didn't have to be said just because I said an. Okay, so there's un versus an. Now, because a lot of translations are not sensitive to these grammatical nuances, when they say the word salam, which means peace, so they'll say salamun, translation, peace. Salaman, translation, peace. Like you're not gonna see a difference at all, right? Angels come to visit the Prophet Ibrahim. And when they come to visit him, alayhi salam, they walk, they, he opens the door, they said, salaman. They said, salaman. Now that would be the verbal kind of salam. Now, in a previous episode, I've said this, I'll remind you again. Verb-based things are temporary. Noun-based things are permanent. So they're saying, we extend peace to you. Which would be the verb, we extend. Nusallimuka salaman. Okay, so their, their peace, their extension or greeting of peace was, Verb based, which is cool. Ibrahim alayhi salam responded. Now remember, angel said salam man, a verb based salam, a temporary kind of salam. Ibrahim responded salamun. Ibrahim alayhi salam said salamun, which means he made a noun based salam. Now, here's another interesting thing about that. When you say salaman, then you're saying we offer you peace. So who's doing the offering? We are. We're the doers of that offering. So the angels are the ones that are offering him peace. But when you say salamun, you make it a noun, then you're saying, may peace be on you. Whose peace? You didn't specify. You see, when you have a verb, you have to have someone doing it. And the angels are doing it. They're doing the extending of peace. But when Ibrahim offers peace, he says, may peace be on you, which means it may be from me, it may be from my family, it may be from the world outside. I pray your family gives you peace. I pray your surroundings, your friends give you peace. I pray all the angels give you peace. I pray Allah gives you peace. I, you, I, I pray you're immersed in peace all around without any restriction of time, because it's noun-based, or restriction of subject. Who, does the, who gives you the peace? I don't want to restrict that on you. I'll make it open. So I'll say salamun. You know, the Quran tells us, وَإِذَا حُيِّتُمْ بِتَحِيَّةٍ Whenever you're greeted with a greeting, respond with something better. At the very least, respond to it in kind. But you should try to make it better than what you were offered. Ibrahim alayhi salam in that little un said so much more than they did, than the angels did. Subhanallah. Now the Quran captures that. They said salaman, he said salamun. What does the English translation say most of the time? The angels when they came upon him and thus and then said peace. He said peace. My goodness changes everything. The way he greeted them, the love he showed them. This is, and, and now we understand that when we, somebody says, Assalamu alaikum, and you say, Wa alaikum assalam, wa rahmatullah, wa barakatuh. By the way, we say, Assalamu alaikum, or Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu, like un. We put a u at the end. You know what that means? We're making it universal. We're not just saying, I'm offering you peace. Uh, you're saying, may peace be on you from every direction, from everywhere, including myself. Right, it's this universal greeting. But we're supposed to respond with something better. And that itself is a legacy of Ibrahim alayhi salam. Now let's take this a step further. On that same note, un is permanent, an is verbal and therefore temporary. The Quran talks about patience, or what's strange phrase, beautiful patience twice. Okay. Once it says sabrun jamilun, sabrun jamilun, and the other time it says sabran jamilan. Wasbir sabran jamilan innahum yarawnahu ba'idan wa naraahu qariban. Or fasbir sabran jamilan. Okay. 
So one time beautiful patience is talked about in nominal or noun form, per permanent, like we said, and the other time in temporary form. That's strange. Why would Allah do that? You look at the context, you discover something. When Yusuf was taken by his brothers alayhi salam, into a well, and he's gone, and the dad is given the fake shirt with blood, he has no options to recover this child. These guys have clearly made up their mind. There are no options in front of him. And he doesn't know if the boy is alive or dead. He doesn't know how long this pain is going to last. It is an endless ocean of suffering in front of him. He needs to declare the beauty of patience that is timeless. Because he cannot see an end in sight. So he says, فَصَبْرٌ جَمِيلٌ He put it open-ended. Beautiful patience. The Prophet ﷺ was being insulted by the Quraysh. There were even physical threats towards him. And day after day it looked like their antagonism was getting worse and worse and worse. And Allah tried to Allah tells him in Quran to be patient. He says to him, Fasbir Sabran Jamila. Be patient. It is as though he's saying, by the way, making it an makes it temporary, yeah? Allah is telling the Messenger, Ali be patient. This is not oh, this is not endless. It'll come to an end. It's temporary. I'm telling you relief is coming. It's not that far away. And how do we know it's not that far away? Just because it says sab, ran, jamilan. And so beautiful, so beautiful, that in the very next ayah, Allah says, إِنَّهُمْ يَرَوْنَهُ بَعِيدًا وَنَرَاهُ قَرِيبًا They see it far away. But we see it as close. <laughs> he already told us that, embedded in the sab, ran, jamilan, and then he opened it up himself. Subhanallah. That's the beauty of Quran that is lost in translation that you and I are supposed to just absolutely be amazed by. I pray that Allah Azza increases our iman through these ayat and makes us people of beautiful patience. May Allah Azza